Hi and welcome to Little Bits of Honey Bees YouTube channel. I'm a skinny bee man. Uh, today I was just putting, getting some AI queens ready. Um, AI queen is an artificial, instrumentally inseminated, but most people call it ar artificially inseminated, just so you know what they are. Um, these queens have been inseminated and knocked out one time with CO2. Uh, they got to be knocked out twice. So today, that's what we're doing. We got them in a cage here with their tendons. We just put them in a plastic pan. I don't want to do that first. I got to pull the staples out of this so that when I get them out of here, I can dump them out and get to them. CO2 is anesthesia for a bee. If you knock us out with CO2 for eight minutes like you do these, we'd be dead or have brain damage. It, it doesn't bother the bees. So we take that cage, put it in there. Timers, whatever. There, I'm back to my timer. Get a little CO2 bottle here. And how you know how much to give them is you put it in there and turn it on. You watch it when the, when the bees get knocked out. You shut it off and seal the bag up. And start your timer for eight minutes. Okay, there they are. They're all knocked out. Start my timer, do eight minutes. Just set her over there like that and prep some of the other stuff. We got the little bitty plastic tags here. Let me see if I can get a close up of these where you see these tags. Come on, focus. Focus. I don't know why that wouldn't focus on them numbers. Don't have a clue. But anyway, they're on a card and they're plastic numbers. And you just take a toothpick and punch a number out that you want. These things go everywhere. And then you get one turned upside down, and you, you can't get it turned right side back up. This particular number is number 10. But what we're going to do, we're going to take her back out of there. We're going to clip one of her wings. And... Uh, put a number on her and that's kind of the uh, process but the CO2 doesn't doesn't hurt the bees I've seen them knocked out for over an hour getting inseminated and it doesn't seem to affect them at all
these here. I've already done two more here. Probably can't see it anymore. Well, I don't know why this ain't focusing. Maybe because there's not enough light in here. When they wake up, after you knock them out, they uh, regurgitate, so you need to feed them as soon as they, they wake up. We're waiting for this timer to go off. Oh, and what we put them on there with is just good old tight bond wood glue. That's how you put the tag, the glue that you use to put the tags on. It's waterproof. Uh, I've never had a tag come off. One minute twenty four seconds. What the second CO two does is uh, supposedly makes them go to laying faster. I don't have a clue why, but they say that it does. So they always knock them out twice. You can do it two ways. You can knock them out the day before you inseminate them and then knock them out when you inseminate them and then put them right in the hive or you can just in, knock them out the day you inseminate and then wait, you gotta wait 24 hours before you do it again and then knock them out the, the second time and then put them in a hive. Well, we're about there, 17 seconds. There's a the timer. And I just take the cage out. And that's why I pulled the staples out of the cage to get the wire off. Dump all the bees out. Find the queen. Which we got her right here. And we just get under under the wing. Clip a wing off. Oh, when you're looking for queens, that's just something else I bring up. Queens I've never seen a queen that's not had yellow or black or orange legs. Workers always got black legs. Queens got yellow or orange. Don't know why, but if you're in doubt which one the queen, that's a good way to do it. Okay, we put a little bit of glue on there. Get the tag on. She ain't wanting to cooperate. That's pretty good. Sometimes you're just better off leaving well enough alone. When you had it, you should have just left it alone. Actually, she's trying to wake up now. That's a little bit quick. Anyway, just get her started in the cage. Bump her in there. And start putting a few workers in there with her.
even them bees with being knocked out, them claws they got on there, want to hold on to everything. Get down in there. And then we just take it and put a couple little stripes of honey on top of the cage for them to eat. These are all back doing just lovely. And these will be shortly. Just thought something I would show you guys. Uh, if you like the videos, uh, hit the subscribe button, the bell next to it, and you get notified when we uh, put out another video. I really appreciate you guys watching. You have a great day.